Good morning, preschool friends, and welcome to our first ever virtual TC Tuesday. But before we get into cooking, we need to learn a little bit about our kitchen. Are you ready? First, I would like to introduce you all to some of the tools and appliances that we will be using during our Tasty Tuesday time together. That was a lot of t, t sounds. First, we have this guy. Put your finger on your nose if you know what it is. You might hear it be referred to as either a stove or an oven. We tend to kind of clump it all together, but there's a difference. The stove is the part on the top. And this is where we put our pots and our pans when we're cooking. And your grown up may tell you not to touch if they're in the middle of cooking. The bottom part, which you can open and put pans inside, this is the part that's called the oven. So when you're making a cake or bread, that'll go in here in the oven. When you're cooking mac and cheese, you'll do that on the stove. The next appliance that we have is probably one of my favorite guys. This guy right here, friends, is called a mixer. And what I love about this is it saves your arm from getting really tired when you have to do a lot of stirring for a recipe. And you can change out what you use to mix your batter with. This is great when you are making cakes or breads or anything that requires a lot of stirring. The next appliance I wanna show you is my blender. And we want to be really careful with the blender, friends, because inside is the part that spins around and cuts up our food and helps blend it all together. And it has some sharp edges. So we never want to use our kitchen appliances without a grown-up's help, okay? Our blender is great for, you guessed it, blending things together or mixing them together really well. So if you enjoy a smoothie or a milkshake, you would do it in the blender. If you want to make a smooth tomato sauce for your pasta instead of a chunky one, you can use the blender. We will mainly be using our blender for fun things like shakes and smoothies though. Lastly, friends, I want to introduce you to some of the tools that we will be using during our cooking time together. So first up are these guys. And I'll bring them a little bit closer so you can take a better look. These are called measuring cups and we use these when we are measuring out dry ingredients flour sugar if you need to add blueberries or chocolate chips you would use these measuring cups but if you need a liquid like water or milk you are going to use this guy and you may have one at home that's made out of plastic but mine is made out of glass and this is another type of measuring cup. And we'll have another day where we go over what the different lines mean. Up next, we have another tool for measuring. These are called measuring spoons. And we'll use these when we measure out our spices, like salt and pepper, or even our liquid spices, which we actually just call extract. Now I want to show you one, two of the different tools we might use for mixing. So first is my whisk and it's made out of wire. It looks a little silly, but this guy works really well to mix our eggs together. So if you ever enjoy making scrambled eggs, this is the type of tool you would like to use. We also have a rubber spatula. This guy is really good for mixing in dry ingredients, but it's also really good for scraping your bowl or getting all the, the batter or all the icing off the sides of your bowl. But I don't want you to confuse your rubber spatula with this kind. This spatula is the one that you would use when you're making pancakes and you want to flip them over or if you're making grilled cheese and you need to flip it over. This one is for stirring and scraping. This one is for flipping. The next tool I wanna to share with you friends are tongs. And they look a little bit like the alligator tweezers that I sent home in your learning kits. Except these are a little bit bigger 
and these are used for picking up food. So whether you need to mix things together when you're cooking on the stove, or if you are picking up food to serve to a friend, you would use the tongs. These are also great if you ever need a pair of tweezers for some fine motor practice, you can use these to pick up objects around your house or just pretending like they're little lobster or crabby claws. I have another fun thing I would like to share with you. But again, similar to our blender, these have some sharp parts. So you never want to use this without a grown-up's help. These are called graters. This one here is a box grater and on each side there are different types of holes or sharp parts depending upon what it is you are grating or shaving making into smaller pieces then we also have a handheld one which is the one that i probably use the most because it's the easiest to clean last up friends i want to share with you my cutting board mine is shaped like a lemon because i think it's a lot of fun but a cutting board is always very helpful for protecting your counter or your table space when you are cutting or cooking. And it also makes cleaning up a little bit easier because you can just pick up your cutting board full of trash, dump out the trash in the trash can, and put the cutting board in the sink. Okay friends, now that I have introduced you to the tools and appliances we will be using for Tasty Tuesdays, I have a special challenge scavenger hunt for you. So follow the directions on the next slide and don't forget to post your picture on class tag. Have a great day, bye.